Benedict, his brother today, I met Mitch years ago, but I met his brother today. There's always that other stone part with all y'all. There's us that you know, because you met us here. And then there's the life they had before we met us. And I got to talk to Mark and John and find out that Mitch, uh, as their brother in Canada, at 18 years old, was dreaming about being in the Navy. And uh, he went to join up in the Navy. And right when that was happening, his dad died at 18 years old. He was 18, his dad died, and he was the oldest of five. He went home like the man he was and took care of his brother and sister. He became the man of the house, took care of the responsibility. His brothers are here to tell you that today. He was the guy we knew back then. When he got into music, this is what I thought about Mitch. Uh, last September when we were at Cooney's party, he didn't just do music, he was music. His yeah. smile was music. His laugh was music. He just was music. And, and it, music came out to his fingers on that keyboard. Last time I talked to him, I said, Mitch, I need you to come over to my church because I need a keyboard guy over there. We do church in a bar. For the last 10 years, we've been having church in a live horse saloon because guys like me don't fit in a, the other deal. You know. That's obvious. And he said, oh, I like that. I played the church before. We, didn't, we never did get to do that. But who knows what's going to happen in the future. I'm just thinking maybe God needs a good keyboard guy here. But we're here to be incredibly thankful to these brothers for sharing their brother with us. We want to thank you guys. I'm near as well as I wanted to. And I ain't known every, anybody here near as well as I want to. And I'm going to try. I don't know you all well enough, and I ain't going to succeed. But I can't know anybody well enough. None of us can in this world. Mitch told me he was a Mickey. recognized tribe in Canada, partly French and partly what tribe? Bronco. confronting me. I'm from Chief Seattle. There is only no death, only a change of life. And 
met Mitch on my porch. He took my lung out. I was recovering from cancer. My brothers brought him to me as a prospect, and I knew him. The time I looked in his eyes, I've known him from before. I will know him again, and we will all know him again. Mitch is not gone from us. He is here, and he is in the wind with us. That's all I have to say. Later, I have a prayer. I got the pleasure. Can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah.
just roll into an old brown suitcase. <laughs> and look at my old brown suitcase. I think of all the places that I All the railroad yards and the prison yards and the dumpy little towns that I've been to. And the whispering of the people as they watch my every move as I move through. I remember all these things, but mostly I remember loving you. I remember loving you. Out of all the girls I knew, and I know me one or two, but I remember loving you. There's a lingering smell of a cheap hotel as I'm huddled in a boxcar from the rain. And that flash of night to light the cut of the night as the railroad's full kicks me off the train. And the north wind's blowing and the winter's cold and I'm huddled in Saskatoon cold till I'm blue. I remember all these Mostly I remember loving you. I remember loving you. Of all the girls I knew, and he always said, I remember only one or two. He was like 200 at it. I remember loving you. Out of all the guys I knew, bitch, we all love you, and we still do. You and your heart forever. Love you. We remember loving you. Connection. You know, we could sit down all night long, never look at each other, not say a damn word, start the same damn song, same time, same key, hundred songs, one right after another. I've never shared that with anybody. You know, I've never had that kind of a blessing before. I'm gonna miss that. We played a lot of really heavy gigs. We were blessed with music with both of us. I'm more blessed because he was in my life. I got to play with the Rock and Roll Hall of Famers on the same stage. Sit there and drink beer with them, smoke hash, have a good time. A lot of Grammy Award winners. He was a world-class musician and a, a plethora of knowledge in music and a, a walking library. You know, and... Uh, I'm going to miss him bad. But we'll see him on the other side. I met, I met Mitch when he walked into the Union Hall in, in Spokane, Washington, local 105. He said, where's the guy? We heard if you want to record, you're the guy that's in. And I said, well, what do you got? 